We have the headlines. You're listening to the BBC World Service. Hello, I'm Razia Iqbal, and this is News Hour. Coming up in the next 60 minutes as the But French we defense. go further. Thousands of people are having difficulty finding or paying for the drugs they need. Over the past five months, imports of medicine from Europe have dropped by 30%. Telling it how it is. We estimate 510 million women around the world will suffer violence, uh, domestic violence, at some point in their lives. Empowering people. I think for me, one of the main things that change inside me that I can have very big dreams. I can dream whatever I would like to be. Reflecting on life. If I had to go through that life again, what would I have decided now? And I can only think to myself that I would probably have done exactly the same. We are the BBC World Service, the world's radio station. Cutting edge medical science using microchips. We created these little chips with these little reservoirs, and then by remote control, you can actually trigger the release, and out comes the drug every night. But success comes after years of failure. Most of what we do is failure, but sometimes you keep plugging along, and eventually, you know, maybe something works out. Biochemical engineer Robert Langer joins philosopher A.C. Grayling. In a laboratory a few floors above where we are now, he and his team have developed treatments which are in use in every major hospital in the world. To talk about his many medical innovations. I think one of the things that we want to do is have as many of the things as we're doing in the lab get out and affect patients as we possibly can. Robert Langer, on exchanges at the frontier. Documentaries on the BBC World Service. You will be able to play a game, and at the end of that 15 minutes, you will know absolutely all the names of the countries in Africa. Technology continues to transform education. What is so powerful with this is it will give me the exact problem that he missed. But is a revolution now taking place? We just announced that course online. Within the first few hours, we had 10,000 students enrolled in the course. From elementary schools to universities, we look at new forms of online teaching and ask if it's the best way forward. Are you trying to fill the students with information or are you trying to light fires and help them understand and think about the world in their own way? The question is, is it good for education? The Education Revolution, Tuesday at 8, 12 and 14.30 GMT on the BBC World Service. Freedom 2014 from the BBC. To mark International Women's Day, two BBC programmes exploring the lives of women. I'm Rubana Haq. I employ 9,000 garment workers in Bangladesh. I'm Sri Mom Ang. I grew up on Garbage Dam in Phnom Penh. My dream is to become a fashion designer. In Designing a Dream, a love of fashion unites two women from very different backgrounds. It was a time for me to reflect and also she gave me an opportunity to get as close as I could to her world. And in Freedom to be Single, BBC journalist Rupa Jar finds out what life is like for a single woman in India. Single women are still on the outside of Indian society, often overlooked, even uncared for. That's what I found so moving and sad. Designing a dream and freedom to be single. Saturday at 9 and Sunday at 20 GMT on the BBC World Service. The fear. I survived an air crash and I found nobody there. I was completely alone in the jungle and it was a very desperate feeling. The joy. I dropped down on my knee and said, will you both marry me? And we both kind of broke out laughing. It was very cathartic. The compassion. I got the medicine for her and I gave it to her and she cried and I, I, I didn't know what to do. I just broke down. The hope. Libya has all the ingredients to be a beautiful, peaceful and free country. The unpredictability of life all over the world. I think she had a bit of trouble just grasping that your son, after 25 years, has just reappeared like a ghost. And the people who are living through it. I'm faced with thinking, well, this is the last chance to say something that matters. That's Outlook from the BBC. Every weekday with me, Matthew Bannister, on radio, online and on your mobile.
A personal conviction. Something in my heart unlocked and a very clear thought came into my head. If this openness and trust is Islam, please let me be a part of it. A religious community. We have increasing number of Christians in China. More people are seeking for the words of God. A centuries-old belief. Our God is somewhere in nature and you must take time, sit down and listen. The BBC takes a deeper look at spirituality and faith around the world. We are leaning towards Buddhists, but we don't really go to the temple every week or anything like that. Heart and Soul, on air and online, Saturday from 9.30am on BBC World Service.